My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We've got a 1954 Chevy 3100 Deluxe. And this truck takes Deluxe to a whole new level. Air conditioned, uh, power disc brakes, fuel injected, leather upholstery, rack and pinion. This is a nice show truck that you can get in and drive and enjoy. It's got about 3,700 miles on it since it's been built from the ground up. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can read all the specs, study over 100 pictures. And that's where you find price tags on all the collector cars that we do offer for sale. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on that bell icon. You'll be notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. That's yeah, a sharp-looking truck. These uh, Chevys are uh, really popular these days. Well, they have been for a long time, but especially lately. Uh, underneath this truck is very solid. The floor pan looks to be in really nice, clean shape. It's got like a really thin black undercoat. I noticed the frame is smooth. It's smooth as a chalkboard. It's not all pitted and flaky, and it's painted a, like a satin black. Uh, it does have a new front clip under there uh, with tubular control arms. They're chrome-plated tubular control arms. Uh, the whole front end was rebuilt, uh, this, the steering components, the ball joints, bushings, all that's been redone. It does have a rack and pinion steering. Uh, it has disc brakes in the front. Uh, in back, it has tubular uh, control arms, upper and lowers, and it does have shocks. But this also has an air ride system. There's also airbags back there and in front, so you can adjust the height. Right now we got it lowered down a little bit and a little bit more in front, but it's all adjustable from inside uh, the cab. There's some controls. Uh, <clears throat> it has a full dual exhaust system that goes all the way out. Uh, it has a Flowmaster uh, mufflers on each one. Uh, you'll hear it uh, towards the end of this video. Uh, it has a composite fuel tank. That's a fancy word for a plastic fuel tank. Uh, back there, that's new, and the fuel lines, brake lines, all that's been replaced. When you look up at the motor, it's clean, has a high torque starter, and it's a turbo 400, that's the heavy duty transmission, turbo 400 automatic, uh, and in back it has a 10 bolt rear end with a chrome cover on it. So underneath this truck is really nice. Now, what makes it a deluxe, the, the biggest uh, thing that tips you off are the corner windows. The standard was just metal here. The Deluxe had the corner windows, and I think some of the extra chrome trim like around the windows. Uh, and this thing is solid. We'll go around it right now, but the silver metal flakes, silver can get real blotchy. This is all laid out nicely. The roof looks nice. This all looks really nice. Whole back of the cab. The cab corners people always talk about. There's no issues down there. Uh, the bed is real nice, back fenders are fiberglass, tailgate is all real good, no rear bumper, it has this uh, real nice roll pan with the oval uh, tail lights and the recessed license plate, nice uh, quad tips on the uh, exhaust, stainless or chrome hardware, does have welting between the uh, fenders, this is all beautiful, I don't see any issues here. Uh, this cab corner is real nice. Running boards, they're metal, has some nice chrome strips on them. The glass is all tinted. Door handles look new. This chrome looks new. Nice oval billet mirrors. Uh, one piece windshield. Rubber gaskets were replaced. The hood looks real nice. The emblem looks new. The Deluxe, I believe, has all the chrome front end. It's all been replaced. And I think these are French headlights. If you look at a stock uh, truck, I think these have been uh, set into the fenders there. Yeah, these are metal fenders up front. So it's all metal, but the two rear fenders are fiberglass. I did want to point out this rubber gasket right here. It just needs to be glued down or something. It just bulges out just a touch there. 
It's riding on Riddler wheels, big chrome wheels with some performance tires. And again, you can adjust the height and the stance however you want. So why don't we open up the cab and show you under the hood. All right, we've got an all metal tailgate, it says Chevrolet right there. Uh, and you do push in on buttons here and uh, it opens up. This button was a little hard to push. Uh, uh, so we need to adjust this latch. If you buy this truck, make sure you remind the salesman. So the fuel uh, filler is relocated right here. Uh, and then it has nice stainless steel strips. The wood is in good shape, but it may need to be refinished if you want it to look pristine. But inside the bed, it's all straight clean metal. It's not beat up. I do notice there's a scratch way up front there in the, in the panel. And then this here, AirPod Ride Tech. This is part of the Ride Tech air uh, suspension. This is a compressor that will lift up your suspension when you need it. Now let's go inside the truck. It looks good in here. You have beautiful sculpted door panels with some nice, uh, nice chrome hardware. A little carpet at the bottom. Door jams painted real nice. Weather strips are replaced. And looking across the dash, it's all upholstered. Uh, it has some really nice looking gauges. I love how they light up real nice and white like that. LED lights. Uh, you got turn signal indicators, high beam indicator. There's about 3,700 miles on there. So that's since it's been rebuilt. Got a quartz clock here in the middle. Uh, AC vent on each end of the dash. And of course, this door panel is just as nice as that door panel. The seats, glove soft leather, nice sculpted sport seats, uh, very comfortable and just nice, nice soft leather. I can't stop touching them. Uh, and then the inside of the cab is upholstered. Uh, it has a working interior light, visors. And then we got custom made center console. There's a lot going on here. It's got a, a touch screen stereo system. Uh, your AC controls, power windows, your headlight, cigarette lighter. Now this here is the controls. You have three preset uh, settings or you can control each individual corner. The digital screen is not lighting up. So you can uh, hit the buttons until you get the level where you want and then you can program it, but the digital readout is not working. Uh, you got cup holders, which is nice for your coffee. Nice little compartment. And then there's uh, four speakers, two in the console and two behind the seats. Down on the floor is nice carpet. Nice uh, pedals, I just noticed too. There's sound deadener under the carpet. And then we got a nice steering wheel on a tilt column with a beautiful billet shift handle. Let's go see what powers this truck under the hood. Actually, it's a 327 motor from a 1968 pickup truck, a Chevy, and the transmission has the same VIN number on it. So this motor and this transmission have been mated together since 1968. Kind of cool how they stayed together. So the motor was rebuilt as an Edelbrock intake with a Phytech fuel injection system. Uh, the air cleaner is an old 50s Cadillac style air cleaner. Got some nice looking Chevrolet valve covers a set of coated headers, HEI ignition. We got a power brake system here. It looks new. The steering uh, uh, you know, bars and the couplers, that's been replaced. as a modern power steering unit down here, a chrome alternator and a chrome AC compressor. It has heat and air. Got a nice polished aluminum. Big tall radiator with an overflow tube, uh, a big electric fan, and it even has the nice stainless steel upper hose. The engine bay is all painted silver, has these really nice uh, polished strut rods. And this whole front panel is chrome, so it's kind of nice. You open the hood and you're blasted with some shiny chrome.
And there you have it, folks. Like I said, that gives new meaning to the word deluxe in one of these trucks. Not your old farm truck anymore. That's my impression, but you can go to volocars.com. Plenty of ways to reach out to our salesmen. They'd be happy to help you the best they can. They can help get this delivered to your driveway. They can help you get it financed with easy monthly payments. That's at volocars.com. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, subscribe to the YouTube channel and uh, click on that bell icon. That way you'll be the first to see the next one posted. Thanks for watching.